Hey there one Philly Cheesesteak here back inside of Fallout 4 and today I'm doing the Vault Tech DLC workshop stuff. This includes the Better Living Underground, Vault Dweller, and Oversight achievements. All three are very very easy and therefore very easy to get. Uh, obviously first of all you need to download the DLC so obviously you're going to need to do that first. Now, for Better Living Underground, you need to unlock all three areas. Now, they say all, according to the achievement guide, not achievement guide, the achievement description, it says unlock all areas. Uh, there are three areas that you need to unlock. It's part of a quest that you have to do anyway, so it works out. Uh, you have to clear three areas out. You basically have to basically hot swap between um, workshop mode and regular um, gameplay mode in order to get rid of some enemies. Now, I have already done that. Then you need, to re, uh, you need to grab a control chip, basically, and you need to go take it to each of the three individual uh, workshops in each area of the vault. Um, I, would, I guess you'd call it a uh, quarry, even though, honestly, I really wish to make it... Yeah, it gets annoying at times, uh, especially when you start building. Yeah, atrium is probably the easiest one. But anyway, once you have gotten all of your... As you can see here, I got some ghouls in there. Uh, there's another one that likes to pop up. I still have my kiloton rifle. I love that thing, by the way. Um, so anyway, grab the chip, and then, uh, yeah, tons of, radi uh, tons of uranium in there for the final achievement. So anyway, you're going to want to make your way back down to here. Um, this is the final one I did. There's a Myler Queen in here, just, to, just so that you know. It's annoying. Uh, easy if you have uh, heavy weapons, but if you didn't expect it, yeah, have fun. But anyway, it's an easy 15 gamer score for our first achievement, Better Living Underground. As I said before, there are three areas, and that was the third area of which I unlocked. I figured you'll figure it out. It's marked on your map, at least the uh, tick markers. Now, for uh, Vault Dweller, what we need to do is equip a settler in our vault with a vault suit and a vault boy. Now, as you can see, there is a chest over to my right-hand side of which I will actually get this stuff from. Now you will have to go through this. Um, it's basically another quest guided achievement. Again, it's fairly simple. You don't really have to really worry about it. The only thing you truly have to worry about, and I do apologize for any buzzing in the background, my computer is going through updates right now. I want to get this video done, especially since I took a week off for vacation. By the way, if, you ever come, if you're ever in the Black Hills area of South Dakota, go. It's actually quite beautiful. I recommend it. Good for clearing the mind. But anyway, you can make some woody remarks if you have your character up high enough for, you know, persuasion attempts. But anyway, it's a fairly simple one, but you'll get Clem. And he is going to be your, basically your patsy. Mainly because if you want to be more insidious with your vault dwellers when you do this achievement, because you can blame him. You can blame blame that guy. So anyway, with the completion of Powers of the People, we're going to go inside of here and we're going to grab ourselves one of the pit boys uh, it'll appear in your miscellaneous section and one of the jumpsuits. It'll appear in your armor section because you can wear one too. So we're going to go over to Clem, our patsy. Um, do note, I have no idea if this changes per character and if this is different, but there will be one patsy. That's who you want to do this to. So anyway, go on down into your uh, armor section. Go ahead and give that to him. And then you need to go on over to your miscellaneous and go down to P for Pip-Boy. Once you have done that, it'll automatically auto-equip. Just auto-equip the jumpsuit with Y or triangle, depending on which platform. And as you can see, he is now decked out in your new Vault 88 jumpsuits. Easy, very easy 20 gamer score. It's so easy that you will get it by playing. Now for the final achievement, which is... Um, I actually have it here. Oversight. Uh, I was going to make an RVB joke, but I'm kind of pressed for time. So anyway, these are the quests you will need to complete in order to get this achievement. Vault Tech Calling, Better Living Underground, actually I'll start moving up in a second. Uh, Explore Vault 118, uh, that's the one where you need to, uh, basically it's given to you with Better Living Underground. Uh, Explore uh, Vault 88, just said that already. Power to the People, The Watering Hole, which probably will be the most annoying one for you if you haven't already cleared out uh, Hallucigen. Uh, Visions of the Future, and Lady Luck. Once you've completed all of those, the achievement will unlock. And for the sake, I do have to explain one last thing because I did this in a pre-run. Um, I actually thank God for quick saves. Am I right? Thank you, Bethesda, for including that. So anyway, after you go through this experiment, this is the final experiment, 
go ahead and go through this entire dialog tree until you get to this specific dialog option. Do not go for the the convincing, uh, the persuasion attempt. Go for great working with you, or it's dangerous out there, or there's no more vaults. I recommend going with A for guaranteeing this one. Um, it just guarantees the achievement for you. That's basically the easiest way to do this. But once you have done that, you will, be, you will become the Overseer, and you will be given the Legend of Vault 88 jumpsuit, which, by the way, is a very nice jumpsuit, and you will be given Oversight. Um, over, yeah, Oversight. And that, of course, gives you the last achievement for this DLC, which then completes this DLC. Yay, I'm at 100% again. It was very easy. This will take you maybe about an hour or two or three, depending on how much you put into the vaults, because you can see I was bare bones in it. But anyway, there you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, hit like. If you, in fact, want to see more, why not click on Guitar Swordfish Guy in the lower right hand over by the vault head cabinet over there. Go to my channel, hit subscribe, or you can click on the left hand side and go on over to the previous video. And as always, have a great and beautiful day, and hopefully I will see you guys all next time.